Here we are on the eastern shore of Nova Scotia. We've come out at low tide to dig some soft-shelled clams. So basically, we just bring two buckets, shovel, and we bring some kitchen catcher gloves. And we go down to about the low tide mark, and we look for where the siphon holes are from the soft-shelled clams. And we dig a little bit away from where the clam hole is. It's very rocky here, so it's hard to get like a, if you had like a clam rake or anything like that into it. Basically bring it up, dump the soil over. Just pick through, that's why it's nice to have the gloves. You'll see a lot of old dead ones. As long as you haven't, that's not one either. Just keep going through. There's one. As long as it isn't damaged from the shovel, you can give it a little rinse in the water that fills the hole. And then on our bucket, we marked two inches. So if it's wider than two inches, we can put it in our bucket. So we'll fill our bucket with water. We'll put the clams in there. Limits uh, 100 per person. We'll probably just take a hundred today, which we will probably eat half of them uh, steamed and the other half uh, deep fried and battered. So I've identified a few clam holes, and instead of putting the shovel right down where they are, you can dig a hole into the soft sand right next to them, and then with your hand just pick sideways. So what will happen is if you try to dig right where the clam is, even if you don't put your shovel through the clam, just the pressure lifting up the rocks will crush the clam. And you need to keep these things alive before you eat them. As soon as they die, they'll start producing histamine and you end up getting really sick. It doesn't cook out. So you got to keep them alive in your fridge in the salt water and don't use like table salt. Bring some from the ocean, keep it nice and cool and eat them within 48 hours if possible. Um, you can cook up and freeze up a big batch of chowder if you have any extras so you don't have to waste any. And uh, just finding little ones. No, oh, there's a big one. one. Okay, there's a big one. And the other thing you'll come across a lot is, uh, we call them sand clams, they'll look like a clam. And sometimes it's like fully closed, which is full of like dead clam parts. So you want to also throw those away. When when you count up your bucket, you'll, you you might find the odd one that you thought was a clam. So you don't want to bring those home with you either, because they stink. Tiny one. Um, another thing too is uh, as the tide comes in, the water line will get higher and higher. So you'll need to you'll need to move up the up the shoreline because. You don't want to be trying to dig the, it, it, it's difficult to dig the clams when they're covered up by water. You're, you're kind of at the area. We find they're usually about, I don't know, it's probably like four inches deep, to about where they are. So, and if, we, if we turn around and we look behind us, our buckets are about to get swept up by the tide, which is coming in. So, you just, you just move along. digging. If, you, if, if you're in a spot and uh, it uh, stops producing clams, just move to a new spot and uh, you don't have to worry about reburying your holes because the ocean will do that for you. 